I'm Canadian, but the server that I own is located in America, meaning that it is under US domain and follows United States law. Now I was wondering, would it be possible to take over the server without breaking a single US law? This means that if I want to kill someone, I can't just murder them, that's illegal. Unless the common law principle of castle doctrine said that individuals have the right to use reasonable force, including deadly force, to protect themselves against an intruder in their home. So hypothetically, if I built a house and someone came into it without my consent, I could stab them and take their gear. I mean, if I wanted to kill intruders, I'd probably need some gear and legally I could actually mine. But I feel like instead of grinding for gear, it'd be way more fun if I just made a trap and kill a rich intruder instead. Yes, I'm making a pitfall trap. Why is that even a question? Alright, look at me. I'm placing furnaces. I'm such a fancy dude. No one's gonna escape this trap. Alright, it seems I'm running low on furnaces, so I'm just gonna craft some crafting tables. Should work just as well. So let's keep going. Alright, I'm gonna place some stalagmite at the bottom here. And then we should be complete. The trap should be done. Now I needed someone to test my trap on. Like someone maybe who's trying to learn how to play mobile for the first time. That was so perfect. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure if human testing is legal, but he was technically an intruder in my home, and I gave him his stuff back. So no harm, no foul, right? Ah, uh, whatever, it's time to get someone for real. And the person I planned to target was a guy named 27. Because, well, we used to be teammates, but he had recently killed me and left me with no items and no gear. Also because he was rich as hell, and I wanted some of that wealth. Now the problem is, if I'm specifically looking to kill 27, that's conspiracy to commit murder, which is a crime. So I won't be able to get him. I'll just have to wait for the first wealthy person who wanted to come into my base, uninvited. Oh, he is following me. Okay, that th th that is that is not great. Indeed, is not great. That 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 is not good. Goodbye. He is dead. He, he, he is gone. But we're gonna we're gonna place some blocks above me and we're gonna get that gear. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. No way that just worked so well. Yo, wait, can I get some of the gear? I don't know if I can. So I'm gonna die. But you know, that was funny! Now the trap was successful, but his teammate was right there behind him, and he was able to kill me and get his gear back. Now I wasn't gonna let this happen. Considering they were still in my base, I had every what right to use force to stop them, especially since they held me hostage. But from my death, I had no gear. So I decided to contact a few players to help me out, including my test subject, Cambro, who at this point wasn't a mobile noob. He was a PC noob! So that's slightly better. I'm attached on a f They're leading me on a f they're killing Sopte! No, 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 okay, Sopte's twerking for them now. Net, what is going on here? I got a stone sword, I'm ready. They're, they're boxing me like a fish. I'm boxed like a fish. Okay, are you are you guys ready? It's gonna be an all-out brawl and I don't know who's gonna win. Okay, ready? Okay, every everyone jump spiky pixels. King, 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 I need to get out of the house. Yo, everyone, every, everyone go after spiky pixels. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Yo, so everyone, everyone go after spi Spiky Pixel in three. I, everyone go after Spiky Pixel in three, two, one, go. Yo, go, go, go. Everyone get Spike. Everyone get Spike. Everyone get Spike. Oh my God. Okay, get, get Spike. Get Spike. He's running. He's running. Chase him down. Chase him down, boys. I'm pursuing. I'm pursuing. I'm pursuing. The video is trying to follow U.S. laws. Do you think the hunting this man down is following U.S. laws? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh my God. We had managed to free me. But we were unable to get the intruders. So we had a meeting to discuss our plans. Meeting room with the boys? Everyone take a seat. Okay. Um, no, okay. No, no, on the da, on the da, on the da, on the da. Look, we have to destroy Spike, Pixel, and Trinkers. Now, you may be wondering how they started. Well, this guy actually trapped one of them. I didn't. Okay, okay. To be fair, it wasn't on accident. They were intruding in my home. They were. I did not invite them to my home. They came in without being invited, and I and I trapped them for it. Then they proceeded to steal Chuck from himself, and they made him his pet. Yeah, I don't like being a pet. And they don't like 
human trafficking, guys. Am I right? Yeah. 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 We, su we are supposed to be the good guys. Yeah. That's why we need to destroy that too and stop them from trapping anyone else in their life. Yeah. Understand? See, imagine this penguin subject. His race is probably going extinct. We don't want him. I don't want him to steal him. Look, we have this uh, purple cube thing. Look, do we, do, we, do we want them to steal this and use them as their pet? No. Do you want this blue mustache man to be their pet? No. Do you want this... Whatever this is, to be their pet? No. We have to stop the human traffickers. A few moments later. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, yo, 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 get Spike. Yeah, okay, I, I am already dead. I'm already dead. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. Yo, I'm... Oh, I'm dead. Bro. Did we really lose that? So after all getting murdered, you think my team would meet up with me and regroup. And they did. But, uh, without me, they all went to Camero's base to get geared, and I wasn't invited. I mean, this is probably because of all the slight bit of human testing on him I did. But I mean, either way, I was pissed. I was broke, without a team, and desperate for gear. Because the end fight was in two days. And if I wanted to become the most powerful player, while being a law-abiding goodie boy, I would need the dragon egg. Because having the egg is the only way to wear netherite gear, making its wielder instantly the most powerful player. So how was I, a broke player with no skill, gonna get gear? The answer? Docks and Cam's Minecraft base. You see, Cam had streamed his base multiple times, showcasing the loot it had to offer, and more importantly, some key landmarks around it. Using these landmarks, the biome, a map of the seed, and someone who has a brain, I could figure out potential locations of his base. So here's what I'm thinking. I think it's between 3,000 and 10,000 blocks away, because I think it's too lazy to build it far, but not stupid enough to build it closer than that. So I've copied the seed into a world, and I have a map of the seed here of all the potential coordinates based on the structures and biomes within my radius. And Mindstone, the smart dude, also gave me some potential spots. So now I'm just gonna fly around in creative until hopefully one of the coordinates matches his base. Crap, okay, it's not it. I need to figure out, okay, what's that? There's a pillager outpost over there. Where are the pillager outposts? Okay, what biome? Okay, I got the biome. Pillager outpost. Okay, there's only, there's only so many. If I go to all these, I will find it. Let's see, any others? Nothing really else is around. It's by the water. Doesn't really help that much. There's a lot of water. Uh, you know what? Screw this, man. The end fight's in two days. I gotta. Uh, I can't. I can't do this. With me having no luck finding the base, I would need to resort to new means of locating it. I noticed while watching cam streams that two other players lived at the base: Creeper and Spritty. I mean, that I would need one of them to tell me the chords, but it would not be so easy, as they were both sworn the team of Cam and promised not to betray. So obviously, they both gave me the chords instantly. And it's not even 1,500 blocks from spawn? Well, Spritty did. Creeper literally just forgot where it was. But that's not important. What was important is, I now have the base courts. I was going to be able to re-gear. And technically, I wasn't even breaking any laws. Since Spritty, a tenant in their home, let me come to their base. So yeah, I'm still a law-abiding goodie boy. To be completely honest with you, it wasn't even that good. And someone gave me gear anyway. So it was sort of useless, but hey. I had fun searching for hours. It was a good use of my time. Now it's about time for the end fight, and I need to get the dragon egg to become the server's most powerful player. But that would be tough, because I wouldn't be able to kill anyone for the egg, unless it was self-defense. So I needed a plan. Pretty much, I was gonna wait to be the last one to enter the portal, then tower as high as I can over the egg, so that when the ender dragon is slain, the egg would spawn hundreds of blocks in the air, right next to me, and I could grab it and log out. All of which is perfectly legal. It's time. For the end fight. Let's go. Oh, you're, you're going to be the last ones in there. Okay, yo, yo, there, there's still people behind me, which I don't like. I don't like that there's still people here. Okay, yo, get in the portal. Get in the portal, guys. Guys, I want to be the last one in. There's, there's no fight. There's no fighting until we get in. Bro. Bro, confused. Yo. Bro. 
Okay, the plan didn't work out as I thought, but luckily, I had a new and improved plan. Capitalism. Yeah, I figured it would be pretty much illegal to make a video following US laws without making at least one joke about good old Uncle Sam. So I ventured out away from Spawn and found a spot for my civilization. I mined it out so it'd all be completely flat. I also made an outline for what's meant to be a shopping district and got someone to build me a Chucko Tower design. But I realized that none of this mattered. The only thing that was important was that I got the egg and could control the destiny of this server for eternity ahead. I needed it, but how? I met with Crinkrox, the player in possession of the egg, and he told me what I needed to do. Uh -huh. Not buying my head. Be because I want to be able to get the dragon egg. I want to be able to use it for my own game. Oh, wow. So you know, th this is a capitalist society here, meaning this this is an intent. This is an area where we want businesses to be able to thrive. And the center of a capitalist society should have a marking that signifies its brilliance, that signifies its wealth, that signifies its glory. We need to prove that this is the economic powerhouse of the server. And what is the greatest economic item on the entire server? Titans. And glass. No, no, no. The, 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 the dragon egg. Oh, yeah. It's worth a lot, so you want it because it's, because it's worth, right? Because it's worth a lot of money. Yes, capitalism needs a centerpiece that can show that it's a powerful entity on the server. And I'm willing to make you a good offer. Like what? Is there anyone on this server you would like to see um, exterminated a little bit? Slightly a murdered. A couple, maybe. A couple? What, what, what if I was able to do that for you? Oh, yeah, it looked like you'd be able to do that. Well, with this item, I could. Yeah, but you're still pretty bad at these things. How about you? you do something for the egg rather than me give it to you? Okay, what do you, what do you, what do you want me to do for it? Alright, I'll give you, I'll give you a challenge then. You've got to track down three players and kill them. kill them. I had to kill three players. This would be assassination. Breaking all the laws I'd fought to abide by. It would make me a criminal. Wait. I own the server. That pretty much makes me the president. And the server's located in the US. Their presidents do illegal crap all the time! I can't break the law! I am the law. I'm, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to do it once. Stop, oh my god. I have a feeling you're gonna come down here and murder me, so I'm a little scared now. Not no, okay. it's fine. Okay. What the? No way! I got no Dude. Pleasure doing business? Oh, yeah. Try to kill me quickly. Don't work. Oh, I think you dropped your sword. Yes, yes, I did it, Crin Cross. Crin Cross, I did it. Crin, Crin, Crin. I had done it. I would broken the law so many times, but I had a reason, a task I needed to achieve. I want to claim my reward, all the power, all the glory, the most prized possession in the game. But he refused. He said only one of my kills counted. All that blood, the betrayal of my most sound beliefs for nothing? No, it can't be. I might not be physically able to kill two more players legitly, but if there's anything I've learned about being a Minecraft YouTuber, faking stuff is where we shine. I had saved two more victories, breaking even more laws. And would he even be worth it? Would he believe it? So I logged on and met with Kryn to see if I could finally possess the dragon egg. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's Kryn. Is he gonna give me the egg? Oh, um, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm, I am practically God. I am, I am him. Even though I had achieved my goal, it made me wonder: Was betraying my deepest values really worth it? And it left me with one big question. What now?